All right, this is Ken Reservoir. We're continuing with our Euler, Euler diagram practice. And here is number seven. It says sum A is B. So you can see I overlapped A and B in every single one of my circles. And in that, um, I'm going to put this in here. There's an A that is also a B. Some A is not a C. Actually, that block where it's at works perfect because it's not a C. So that's good. So I've drawn both the premises. Now let's see. Some B is not a C. Some B is not C. Well, looking at this picture, it looks valid. But then you have to ask yourself, is there another way of drawing the picture? And um, actually there is. Here I said... Uh, some B is not C is valid because C is inside of B and there's some of B, this part here, right, that is not C. But that doesn't make the argument valid. If there is a way of drawing it so that the conclusion is not in the picture but the premises are still there, then the argument is invalid, is a fallacy. So let's look at maybe this one. Some A is B. There's a A that's a B. Some A is not C, and that A again is not C. Some B is not C. Well, no, there once again, all this B is not C because it's outside of C. So you can see the problem here is whenever B is bigger than C or overlaps C in some way we have a problem and we get it um, we get the resulting picture um, looks like it validates the argument but again it doesn't let's look at um, this is an invalid argument we haven't seen it yet but eventually I'll get to one of these pictures and it will show that it's invalid let's look at this one uh, down here on the right some A is B there we go there's an A, that's a B. Some A is not C. That same one is not a C. And some B is not a C. Oh no. Once again, all of these now. All of these are not C's. So that doesn't work. So we have failed to invalidate the argument in three pictures. And the reason is because this is a picture we should have used. Um, some A is B. I have that. That's right here. Some A is not C. Here's an A that's not a C. So I have that as well. Um, it doesn't have to be the same dot. I hope you guys realize. When I say some A is B, that doesn't mean the same A is not C. That's not what they said. They said some A is B. There you go. I have an A. That's also a B. I have an A that is not a C, and the question is, do I now have some B that is not a C? And the answer is, I do not, because B is completely inside of C. So actually, this is an invalid argument, and here is our counter example. That one was a little challenging, unless you stumbled upon this right away. But you have to be uh, pretty careful when you're dealing with a bunch of sums. All right. All dogs bark. All dogs bark. So, dogs belong to things that bark. So this is barkers, and this is dogs. And um, dogs are barkers, so all dogs bark. We have that in there. No barking animals are cats. Oh, great. Barking animals has to be disjoint from cats. Here's cats. So, have I drawn that? Is there any other way of drawing that? Well, they can't overlap, and cats can't be inside, because they're saying no barking animals are cats, so they have to be disjoint. So I've drawn both of the premises. The question is, is the conclusion in the picture? No dogs are cats. Yes, clearly. 
All right, so this is a valid argument. Let's look at number nine. All fathers are men. So fathers fathers here are part of the group of men here. Some men are wealthy. Let's do wealthy. There we go. Some men are wealthy. There's a wealthy man right there, represented by that red box. Um, does that necessarily mean, do, oh, well, let's check this. All fathers are men. Do I have that? Yes. Some men are wealthy. Do I have that? Yes. Some fathers are wealthy. Do I have that? Not necessarily. If I drew the circle, the wealthy circle to overlap, then it would look like the conclusion is a valid conclusion uh, from the premises. But in fact, there's a loophole. It's not necessarily so, because I can draw the picture like this. Uh, it could be that no fathers are wealthy. Those could be disjoint sets, and I still have the overlap required by the second premise. So this is not valid. The conclusion, fa some fathers are wealthy, is not necessarily part of the picture. Okay, here's my next one. It says, no sane person takes a math class. So let me put sane people over here. Whoops, same. I put same. I needed to put sane. So these are the sane people. And everybody outside of sane would be insane, but that's all right. And then these are people who take math classes. So um, over here I'll put math takers. And they're saying pretty much that math takers are insane. No sane peer person takes a math class because it's none. The, the, the circles are disjoint. Some students that take a math class can juggle. Let me do this. Um, some students that take a math class can juggle. Um, I could put this circle out here somewhere out on the right and then I could say that here's the person here's the, at least one that can juggle right that would be one possibility but that would seem to confirm the argument to validate the argument and I don't want to validate it if possible I want to invalidate it so is there any other way I can draw the picture and the answer is <coughs> the answer is yes I can how else can I draw it let's go to the center here let's go like this here's jugglers and I'm gonna say that um, some students that take math can juggle there's that but look at there could possibly be an overlap so it's not the case that no sane person can ju juggle not necessarily juggler and sane do not necessarily have to be disjoint there is nothing in the premises that preclude them from being um, uh, overlapping okay let's look at number 12 so oh not valid I think the next three, if I remember correctly, are fill in the blank. So here we go. Um, all A is B, all B is C, therefore all A is C. Um, I'll leave it to you guys to draw the picture on that, but I'll tell you that you should get uh, three um, circles that are embedded inside each other. I'll go to the more difficult one maybe. I don't know. All birds can fly. So birds are in things that can fly. No flying animals have teeth. So things with teeth are separate. So 
we can also conclude that no birds have teeth. And in the last one, some cats are gray. Cats, gray things, and some cats are gray. There we go. All cats have claws. Whoops. Claws. Now we couldn't conclude. Um, well, we could have a bunch of conclusions here, but what can we conclude? That some gray things have claws, <clears throat> or at least one gray thing has a claw. Um, anything else we could conclude? No, I think that's it. Or some clawed things are gray. Either that or some gray thing is clawed. And there you go. That is our example. So, A, A is inside C. So there we go. That is the end of this video. I hope it has been helpful. Um, adios.